Hello, this will be our last video before SATS 2025. Ahmed and I will be going over three topics, ratio, mean and Roman numerals. So for the first topic, we have ratios. In ratios, we'll have two different numbers. For example, let's think we have blue and yellow paint. Blue and yellow paint. So we'll write a B and then a colon and then yellow and always have a third column for the total how many how many liters of blue paint do we have for example mm, five five and for every five blue liters of paint how many yellow do we need two because no one likes yellow okay what color will that make by the um, blue and yellow green so five blue liters of paint two yellow liters of paint so our total will be seven liters of green paint okay so in the question we'll be given two of those three usually we'll be given for example for every five liters of blue paint we require two yellow liters to yeah. make green paint for example so then we just write 5, 2, and the total beside it, and the total here would be 7, because 5 plus 2 is... 7. Okay. Now, in the question, we might be asked about the total litres of paint we will have on hand, total litres of green paint we will have on hand, if we were to make a mix that contains, for example, 6 yellow litres. So we put the 6 under the two because it's in the yellow column so six yellow liters so it puts it in the y column and then we try to figure out how we got to six so we go back from six to two and we divide we do six divided by two and the answer will be three three so that means that we need to multiply by three and what are we trying to find out the question is asking us for the total how many total liters of paints will we have so we just go to the total column, we ignore the blue column, we do not care about the blue paint at the moment, we just, want to, answer our, we just want to answer our question, Hadi. So the total of 7, we just multiply by 3 because of this 3 over here, and 7 times 3, Hadi, is? 21. So 21 will be our answer. Yeah. And that is ratio. And then the blue and yellow paint will disappear and forever be green. Yes. Our next topic, Hadi, was? Mean. Mean. For mean, we will have a set of numbers. For example, Hadi. 63. 63. 22. 22. 75. 75. 99. That's enough, Hadi. Thank you. Can I have one more? Okay. One. One. How many numbers do we have here? Five. So we've got... A total of five numbers here. Okay. Yeah. So to work out the mean, Hadi, what will we do here? I think we'll have to add up all the numbers together, then divide it by the number of numbers. Number of numbers. Yeah, yeah number, number of, of numbers. numbers. I like that number of numbers. So add up all the numbers, then divide by the number of numbers. Yeah. So the number of numbers is five. Because five. there are five numbers. Okay, that's all the mean is really. We're just adding all these numbers then and then dividing. dividing by the number of numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. How's it? Yeah. I see a 99 and I see a one. That makes a total of? 100. 100. So I'm going to cross those out. I'm going to write 100. What are we going to do next? I think I would add the 63 and the 22. Together or to the 100? To... Together and then to 100. Okay, so what's 63 plus 22? 85. 85. And we know that 100 plus 85 is? 185. So we've got a new total of 185. And we've only got 75 to add. So we're going to do column addition here. 5 plus 5 is? 0. 10. Yeah, so we're carrying a 1. 1 plus 8 is? 9. Plus 7? 16. And 1 and 1 is? Two. So we've got 260. And remember the number of numbers was? Five. So we're going, to we're going to do 260 divided by? Five. 
Does 5 go into 2? E, no. No. But 26 divided by 5 is? 5 remainder 1. Remainder 1. And 10 divided by 5 is? 2. 2 with no remainder, right? Yes, remainder 0. So our answer is? 52. 52. And that's mean for you. And sometimes it'll ask us for the average. And the average is basically the? Same thing. So it is mean. So we did ratio. We did mean. And the last topic that we'll cover. Oh, it is Roman numerals. Roman numerals. So Roman numerals. In Roman numerals, we've got letters that represent numbers that are 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. Is that right, Hadi? Yes. Okay. So, this is how I like to remember it. So, we've got one, and one looks like what letter, Hadi? I. I. So, in fact, this is an I. This is not a one in Roman numerals. This is the letter I. And it represents? One. One. For five, what do we have, Hadi? A V. A V. We should always remember to remember this. Five is V. You can see it on some clocks, can't you? Yeah. yeah. And it goes up to 12. A 10 is? X. X. And again, you can see this on some clocks. Uh, this is usually one that many people remember. And one way to think of the 10, if you ever forget, if you know iPhones, then you know the iPhone X is the iPhone 10. For example, 50, I'm going to skip here. And I'm going to go to the next one because the next one is easier to remember. And 100, how do you is? C, because C stands for century and a century is 100 years. A century is 100 years, so therefore 100 is C. That's the way we remember it. And what's the next letter after C, Hadi? D, which D. would be D is 500. So the next number after 100 that we need to remember is 500. And the next letter after C is D. There you go. Simple as. And for the final one, the final one in terms of the number list is 1000. And 1000 is which letter, Hadi? M. M. And the way I like to remember this is because I also like Spanish. And in Spanish, mil is 1000. And mil starts with the letter M. How do you like to remember it, Hadi? Um, I just know it. You just know it. Also a good point. And now we've got one missing. And that is the letter L. L. So for me, I just remember that there is an L somewhere. And after I filled out everything, I know the remaining one must be 50. So we've got I, V, X, L, C, D, M, 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. Hadi, what year are we in? We are in M, 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 X, X, V. X, X, V. Can you explain that? 2025. So the M stands for? 1,000. And we've got two of those, so we've got 2,000. 2,000. Then X stands for? Is... X stands for what, Hadi? X, time, X stands for 10. 10, we've got two of those, so that's? 20. So we've got 2,020, and the V is? 5. So it's 2,020? 5. Good luck, everyone, on your Year 6 SATs, 2,025 papers in both maths and English. I wish you all the best.